Hey guys, I've got another Mateba video for you today. This is my Sayonica Graphone model specifically. It has a 14 inch barrel on the shoulder stock and is in 357 Magnum. I've recently been having a little issue with this revolver. The cylinder wasn't correctly locking up. It was like you had the little cylinder release lever depressed. Um, it's now correctly locking up. I tried uh, speaking to a few revolver specialists in the UK, there's not too many of them, but I contacted pretty much all of them and nobody wanted to work on this rifle at all. So I got to have a look on the internet to try and find out how to fix it. And there's no information out there about it that I could find to help me out. So I decided to open it up myself. Just as a little side note, when I was filming this video, um, stripping it down and describing what was going on, sort of saying certain things, it just doesn't quite sound right in your mind. Uh, so your mind catches up, he goes, hey wait, that doesn't quite sound right, it's really distracting. Um, so I apologise if that comes across in the video, but when you're saying things like removing the slide, the recoil spring, the guide rod from a revolver, it just sounds completely wrong. Okay, so, field strip in the Matiba Sayunica. We start off by making sure the firearm is, is unloaded and safe, which it is. I've just done this little bit off camera just because it's really small and fiddly, but just up in, let's have a look, just up under here, there is a very small little grub screw. So you remove that, go very carefully with it because it is, well, here it is, it is a very small little grub screw and it's in a really awkward little space to, to get to, so take your time with that and go steady with it. So I've removed that, that allows you to remove this little slide stop pin. So you need to give this a little bit of a, a turn and a jiggle to remove it. It's got these little profiles on here. Um, so set that away to the side and then that means you can pull the slide of this revolver off there. Giving you access to your recoil spring and guide rod. And you change these out uh, if you are shooting in the semi-automatic mode, 38 Special, 357 or 44 and Magnum and Special. Uh, obviously we don't get that in the UK because we're not allowed to use the semi-automatic function of this pistol. But that is um, how you get to change those out, so nice and easy there. Okay, so we can set aside the... Uh, lower portion of the pistol. Um, if we want to remove the the cylinder, we can just get this back here. We can take out this little Allen key here. Okay. And then this little countersink, very small little countersink Allen screw, and then we can remove this little cylinder stop and when we open the open the revolver we can then pull the revolver cylinder assembly from the crane set that to the side gives you really good access then to get in there and, and clean up inside should you need to okay that is a very quick look at the field strip and changing the main spring of this pistol, or the recoil spring, sorry. Um, what you don't find information on is have a look inside here. And I had to do this because uh, this pistol malfunctioned and the cylinder wouldn't index properly, it wouldn't lock up on turning. There's a small little pin uh, just down here uh, in the bottom left. This pin wasn't. Uh, working correctly so the cylinder would spin freely um, so unfortunately I was forced to open this pistol up and have a look inside as I said basically no information out there about it so it did take me a while um, but I think I've got the hang of it now so to start off there's a again a very small little grub screw up in here and I've pre-loosened these already just to make this a little bit easier for camera so you can remove partially remove the the little grub screw that's up inside the my focus is, up inside the cylinder release and set that to the side okay you can actually open this top 
rear sight cover uh, with no ill effects I believe um, so you remove that single little screw and you can remove the sight cover and we have a first starting look at what one of these things is like on the inside let me just pull the camera in a little bit more Okay, so you see we have these tiny little springs and pins, it's like a little Swiss watch in here. Um, but you can remove that little top cover there with no ill effects. You can, I believe, remove this rear cover as well with no ill effects. Um, so just go ahead and do that. These screws on mine, when I first removed it, were incredibly, incredibly tight. So you need to go really careful with that. Um, be really easy to damage these screws and you're not going to find replacements for them or at least non-original ones so you remove those two screws from the rear plate and there's spring pressure on the back of there so this is the little rear cover that covers that and the spring pressure comes from this so you have your firing pin and firing pin spring just there put the revolver slide back on top um, you need to make sure that that arm catches on with a piece of the lower, I'll show you that in just a second. Um, so when you reassemble it, it's quite handy to use something like a little allen key through the front face of the opening there to push that little forked lever. Um, so you can catch uh, this little part here. That focuses. Yeah, so that little pin there needs to uh, work on that little forked lever as you're pulling the trigger that that lever there is what's helping index that cylinder okay so back to the rear here um, down in this bottom left we have this little um, cylinder lockup pin which I alluded to earlier on so that is moved in and out um, that locks the the pin up and then we have this little centerpiece here which allows uh, let me show you the cylinder actually so it's a little bit unusual with this revolver as your cylinder timing is done internally here as opposed to on the outside of the cylinder okay so that little lever down there is what locks up in in the back of the cylinder there and this little lever here is what helps release the cylinder when you um, I don't know if you can see that working, but when you lower the lower the uh, cylinder release there, you can see this pin comes in and out in the centre of the action there. You'll also notice that little um, the little lockup pin moving as well down there. And that hole there is where we remove the firing pin from there, and that's a, a screw hole, and then the other screw hole for the cover plate. Okay, so. You can remove your covers from your Matiba, it seems, without too much aggravation. Just watch out for that little fellow. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult to find. Let's have a look at actually removing these parts for inspection inside. Just to make this again easy for filming, to make sure I don't lose any of the parts. Um, there's a little pin just here. And on the other side of that it comes through. There is a very small little e-clip. Uh, just like so. So I've just popped that one off from this pin on here. That allows this pin then to be pulled through. And out it comes. Set that to the side. Okay. Um, just as advance warning, if you open either of these two screws, you're going to cause a little bit of havoc inside here. So don't do that. Um, unless you really want to have a little bit of a nightmare reassembling one of these things. So um, with that pin removed, this has got a little bit squiffy in here because it was there's some spring tension on it. That pin runs through here and because of the spring tension these are now, sorry, excuse me, because that pin runs through here and there's a little bit of spring tension, 
uh, it's caused these to get a little bit squiffy. So with that pin running across there removed we can now go ahead and remove this uh, centre pin here and the way I do that is I take a, a relatively small little allen key apply a tiny little bit of pressure through it through the front hole of the so this front hole here we're going to apply a little bit of pressure to it like so and then it allows it to be pushed clean through um, note to its flattened shape and the little slot that's cut out of it and the dimple on the side pretty sure you're not going to find that in Walmart so please don't lose any of these parts with that removed uh, you should now be able to pull the uh, this pin through which got your cylinder release levers on you can set that to the side notice everything's still kind of held in there with everything's still kind of held in there with a little bit of spring pressure so um, what we now do so it's really difficult to work around the camera is I can't see what I'm doing um, so what we can now do is apply a little bit of pressure up here and this slides up there we go it's on a, a groove here with a with a hole so we take that out and then we have this small little round spacer this is actually really important and I didn't realize that for quite a long time when I was doing a lot of the test for reassembling I was being a little bit lazy and I wasn't putting that back in so I thought it was just a spacer but it's it's much more important than that and then this will allow us then to remove this lower little pin on the on the very bottom down here our little slide lock uh, slide our cylinder lock up pin so again using that same little allen key from earlier on I apply a little bit of forward pressure and it allows it just to push clear through here we go another funny little pin there not to lose okay so what we're now left with is um, the bit that stumped me um, for a while so the orientation of this little spring and this other little unit in here and now we're going to do what you're not supposed to do remove that little little screw here okay, these are incredibly incredibly tight on the first first go okay so again, tiny little screw that put that safely to the side and this little spring now wants to fall out here. Okay, and that then allows us to remove this little piece, which is the opposite to the little index in lever. And one last piece in the back here is this just sitting through there. So, oh, something to be very careful with these as well. And it's already, I've already lost it. Um, is these little pieces have a very small little spring and a little plunger just sitting inside there. And that is probably about a millimeter and a half wide, that little the little gap in there so god knows how big that little spring is and there's when you say pin it literally is like a little tiny pin there it's probably about a millimeter in diameter or so um small pin with a little head on it and this one keeps trying to get itself lost quite frequently so it lives in there provides a little bit of spring action which you can see with the top sight plate removed reassembling the um mechanism here on the Mataba. I'm going to start by doing this little piece here. This is the little lever that acts on the cylinder lockup. I found this the most fiddly item to do um, and there's not exactly a huge amount of room to work in the back of the, the pistol so I'm going to get that out of the way first. The correct orientation for this as we look at it is 
that way so with the little cut out on the right hand side as you're looking into the rear of the pistol and there's also a little hole up in the top there we have a small little pin this is one of the ones that you don't want to remove from the side of um, from the side here so it's the one just here by the Matiba logo this one just in, incidentally is a uh, I don't know if you can see that you end up with effectively it's just a a small two millimeter or so protrusion into the rear of the action there uh, and it acts this is just a little stop point for one of the levers um, okay so we also have as part of this mechanism we have that small little spring and we install that with the short leg can hardly see it short leg uh, down and the long leg pointing up as we look at the rear of the uh, rear of this revolver and this easiest to insert is your light on its side I'm going to put this little lever in like so just to start with just place him somewhere near we're going to need access to get this little pin uh, this little pin up screwed in and we're also going to need to put this little spring in there so now put. what I'm doing here is I've slid that little piece in I've got the little uh, locator pin uh, flush with the metal work I'll try to manipulate this lever to get it so I can get a part of that pin to hold it in place We're almost going to try to put this pin through. Okay, so we've got it there now. So withdraw that pin ever so slightly, and with the leg of the spring, the sorry, the short leg of the spring pointing to the bottom of the, the pistol. So using something like a pair of tweezers or something like that put the spring in through the middle pit push the pin through and then uh, make sure that's all held and I wind this in the majority of the way I don't put any uh, significant torque on these spring uh, sorry on these screws at this point um, we're going to need to function test it I don't want to damage any of the screws so uh, it's literally just finger tight at the moment okay so uh, it's a lot easier to assemble from here so what we're going to do next is we're going to put the center pin in that acts on the center of the cylinder so that's the flattened pin with the it's a flattened pin with a little cutout in the middle uh, just there like so so that works with this uh, cylinder release lever so you put the cylinder release lever in like so keep that level you don't want to bring these levers up you want to keep that level um, we're going to put that through Okay, so we got the little fiddly bit out of the way now. Um, we're going to put the cylinder release lever in uh, next. You'll notice uh, that this this lever uh, has various flat flat spots on it, and also it. Okay, so it has various flat spots. It also has in the centre this little bit with that's flattened out, but also has a pin in there, and that pin. Um, catches on this little pin here which works on the center of the cylinder so what we're going to do is slide this lever in here and noting the flat top and the little cutout we're going to put the flat top in here like so it's going to be at the top and you want to keep these levers as low as possible Uh, 
Okay. So check the function of that now. Um, you shouldn't take these levers right up. Um, I believe that would impact on the rear of the little plate. But um, we're going to check the function. There we go. So if you push them up too much, that's why you don't do it. it uh, can cause this to lock up in here and you can't uh, open this up particularly easy. So a bit of pressure on the front and what we're going to do is pull that pin back out and do that again. Okay, so just check the function there. So we can see quite nicely that little pin is working correctly and the levers are working correctly. Uh, next we're going to put the, this forked piece in. This is what helps index the cylinder. Um, and there's a uh, little cutout on this that's going to be on the inside of the action like so. Uh, check to make sure you've got this little pin and spring still in here. They have a habit of trying to lose themselves. So what we're going to be doing in a second is with this little with this little spacer it focuses this this round spacer has these little cutouts and it's going to ride in that track like so so um, I'm going to drop that down into there we're going to get this pin And what you'll notice is earlier on, as I removed this pin from right to left, it doesn't matter which way you remove it. Um, however, you sh probably should have removed it from the left to right. Um, so I've just flipped this pin to 180 degrees uh, because I want to put this piece in first. And so as I start pushing it through, I want it to catch. So just make sure you push it back in through from this side. So I'm going to line that up. This is really fiddly to do. I've got really poor visibility because of where the camera and the tripod is and the angle this is. These bits really shield what you're trying to do. So it is actually a lot easier um, when you're not trying to make a video about it. Okay, so. Okay, so there's that one there. With that one in place, uh, you can use a little flat bladed screwdriver to manipulate that somewhere near um, and then push the pin through it to catch it. Okay, like so. And next, what we're going to need to do is the other side of that one which is this again with that little track cut out there we want that on the inside um, we also need to be aware of this long arm of this spring so what I've done previously for that is to use some sort of pick tool just to get it out of the way so pull it up and just catch it on Uh, I tried to catch it just on this little little piece just here just to make it a little bit uh, easier to deal with in a moment um, and then I'm just going to move it on a little bit so I don't know how well you can see that but that little spring is coming up here and is being retained by that spacer okay so Through. We're going to drop so a piece in this will take a little bit of wiggling and a little bit of manipulation just to give everything the clearance that it needs. There we go. Right, so there's a lot of spring tension on there, like. Uh, causes things to bind ever so slightly so um, we push that piece down and we're going to want to 
bring this pin in. Um, I found a little Allen key from the other side. Helps with lining that hole up. All right, so just had someone come to the door, and perfect timing for that. Um, I've now put this pin through the other side, got everything lined up, and we just then need to. There you go. Uh, we just need to move that little spring across. This does not make it easy with a barrel this long. Okay, so. We should have everything now back in place, in there like so. Uh, minus the firing pin, um, but I'm going to leave that out for a demonstration in a moment because I don't want to damage it. Okay, so pretty easy installation from now. Um, we just need to put the little e-clip back on, screw the sight on. Uh, in theory, you would put your firing pin back in. Um, in there. Uh, and then attach the cover plate. I'm going to leave the firing pin out uh, and the spring out. Reassemble it off camera and then I'm going to give you a demonstration of the action working. Okay, so there's a good reason why you probably don't want to play with these uh, and have people come to your door um, because I forgot to put the little lock up, cylinder lock up pin back in. Um, so um, just before uh, I cut the camera, um, it was just said we just need to put the firing pin back in. We obviously need to put this in and this is really easy to put in. Um, all we're going to do is it goes into this little hole here, we're just going to put it in backwards down through there, like so, then with an allen key, Get hands on it. Okay, so the reassembly is really quite straightforward, um, just to slide the slide back on. Um, however, just the one little trick I want to point out is this, making sure we get this little lever here, um, connecting with this little lever here as well. So um, you can insert an Allen key through the front, uh, through that large gap there, push on the lever, and then it lines up quite nicely. Make sure it goes all the way home, put your cylinder back through that, um, and then you can just carry on the reassembly as you need to. Okay, so with the slide fully home and the lever in the correct position there, um, we take the slide pin, and you're going to want to make sure you've got the flat side, uh, this flat side, because through so there you've got the little bit of the, just let's see one of the coils there of the um, the recoil spring. So you get the flat bit through that side, push them through and then I'll do this off camera but you just line that up uh, up underneath there just to check you have a little um, just adjust it. There's a little um, grub screw that goes into that position. Okay, so I've removed the firing pin from this Matiba. There's the pin, there's the firing pin spring. And just set that safely away to the side. Okay, so let's have a look at this, this action.
and if we take a look from the rear So there we are all back together. The uh, Matiba Sayunica, this is specifically the Griffone model as you can see with the long barrel and the uh, shoulder stop there is a carbine. Little 357 Magnum there with the muzzle brake and uh, the scope mount. Okay. Thank you very much everyone for watching and please like and subscribe.